Hello, hello my friends, this is Chris from CoolPhotoshopVideos.com. In this quick tip tutorial, we're actually going to be walking through the Color Settings dialog box. A lot of times when you may edit your pictures and it looks a certain way on your computer screen or your monitor screen, and you go to print it and it doesn't look the same from when it looked on the monitor. So what we'll do is we'll actually go down to Edit, Color Settings, and this will bring up our color settings dialog box and uh, the, these settings right here um, that they're going to be set to uh, I actually picked up um, uh, for one of my friends over at uh, totaltraining.com and uh, it's worked out great for me when I went to go export them to the printer and have printing companies print off some of my, some of my work so let's get to it so what we want to do is we want to change the RGB mode uh, down to Adobe RGB 1998 and if you look over here to the left then you could probably see a slight difference when I click on it I don't know if you saw that or not let me let me click on something else boom you might not be able to see it but Adobe RGB gives it the uh, um, more so the realistic colors uh, for what you're going to want, uh, it provides a fairly large uh, range of RGB colors and it's well suited for documents uh, that will be converted to CMYK. So, if you also go to CMYK, um, you can actually leave that on the US web uh, coded. Okay? And that one will be good. Gray, the dot gain could be 20%. Uh, even if you're going to print, then you can use a dot gain of 20. Spot, you can actually leave that at 20. RGB. What we want to do is we want to convert to work in RGB. Because if we go to off or preserve embedded profiles, if it's uh, in Adobe RGB and it wasn't, the new file wasn't in work in RGB, then uh, it wouldn't convert. So since it's in RGB already we're gonna have it convert now with the CMYK we just want to go ahead and, and preserve the embedded profiles and finally with the gray we just want to leave that off okay now profile mismatches let's say none of these sync up when you're opening up a certain file you can ask when opening just to double check and then you can leave the ask when pasting unchecked also, if it's missing profiles and it doesn't have any of that, don't worry about asking when open. It's just going to automatically open. And I believe that's it, my friends. Once you've set this up like this, then uh, you shouldn't have any problems in seeing any difference from the monitor view and the print view. All right. Well, I hope this helps. Go ahead and click OK. I hope this helps. And if you want to find out more in-depth, step-by-step tutorials in understanding Photoshop, uh, make your way all the way over to coolphotoshopvideos.com and you know you'll find a video like this as well as uh, many more uh, quick tip videos but you'll also have a video training series that goes step by step through everything you need to know about Photoshop in a fast fun and easy way so make your way over to coolphotoshopvideos.com and I will see you on the other side